Testament in this book actually was written 40 years earlier when, in 1921. This was written in 1963 when he's 93 years old. It's the last book he ever wrote. 40 years earlier he had, read, he had written a book called The Poison of Democracy, which is all about Marxism and progressivism. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And uh, must, must, must have it. Must have it. And then, uh, well, that's number seven and number eight. If you not, have not read Ron Duffield's two books, The Return of the Latter Rain and Wounded in the House of His Friends, you don't understand Adventist history. You don't. I'm sorry, I say that unapologetically. You don't understand Adventist history. Because Adventist history was distorted before Ron did these two books. I know, I used to believe the distortions. But Ron is an expert in primary sources. Not he said, she said, but what did they say? Mm -hmm. What did they write? That's the beauty and the brilliance. So as I say goodbye, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. You know, Raymond and I were almost, we were, we were three weeks apart in age, I think. Something like that. And I'm more excited in my old age about Jesus coming than I've ever been in my life. Amen. Because as I study what's going on in this world, my mind goes back to Christ our righteousness. Amen. Father in heaven, <laughs> I'm amazed that you have been so patient with us. Praise God for that. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> But your word says, my spirit will not always, when it said this about the flood, my spirit will not always strive with man. Because we can't push you away. Oh, Father, may not a member of this Laodicean church in the sound of my voice be guilty of pushing you away. But may we hear your voice when you say, come. Come. The spirit and the bride says, come. Amen. 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 Being excited about the second coming of Christ. That's what it's all about. The first song that we sang today was by a 22 year old, Arthur Cox. 619 is by a 25 year old. Lead on, O King Eternal, the day of March has come. Written in 1887. Lead on, O King Eternal, right on the precipice of a message coming to us. Lead on, O King Eternal. Let's sing it together as 25-year-olds would sing it. Let's stand. 619.
things are open to your divine survey. And from your great and calm eternity, we rest in that you have ordered that which you see best. May we be at peace in your love, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.